Okay, hi everyone. So uh, we'll be taking a quick walk through Switcher. So I'm gonna open the app. So once you open a uh, Switcher app, um, the first thing you can do is if you don't know how it works and you know you don't know about popper coins and so on, then you can just uh, tap here and you read what is popper coin. You know you can read about that um, and then you know more information how to get proper coins you can read through that what you can do with proper coins so you can see um, how pop I mean what are the um, economical applicabilities of proper coin and then um, remitting proper coin so you can also see like you know how uh, you can remit proper coins so now after that you'll be uh, it, you will come to the screen where you can either sign in or sign up so you sign in if you have an existing account or you sign up if you don't have an existing account so let's pretend for some reason that we don't have an existing account you go to sign up all you need to do is provide your name provide a first name last name email address and then you can you know so you can sign up from anywhere in the world I think it's a total of 177 countries from where you can sign up you know starting from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe you can sign up so because I have an existing account what I'm gonna do is sign in so I'll provide my email ID, which is aronmungan at gmail.com, okay? And I'll do that. So once I do that, I, I will be sent an OTP because, you know, this is uh, an account where you're storing your digital assets. So, you know, we have to have a certain layer of security. So I've received an OTP by email, so I'm just checking it out uh i'm opening the email on my computer and i'm gonna put in the code it's five two eight zero and i'm gonna verify myself and i'm in so if i refresh my account you can see i have some purple coin balance there and uh, you know my transaction history will be displayed you know coin purchases coin transfers and so on so uh for for a new user the transaction history would be empty because you know you are, of course you will have uh, zero transactions you know now um, so when you just sign up let's assume that uh, you just sign up and you have zero coin balance the first thing is we want to look at how do we purchase coins right so we go ahead to uh, first thing if I want to purchase some coins I'll go to I can see that one purple coin is equal to 0 0.27 USD uh, and then uh, I can also I mean if I click on the question mark sign I can see the value in more currencies and we keep updating these guys so always ensure to check it out and I will go ahead and say okay I want to buy either you are in India if you are in India you can just go ahead and select India but if you are uh, out of India you just select rest of the world and I say I want to buy 1000 coins right and I'll go and you can see how much I'm supposed to pay because uh, also if you click on this you will see that one purple coin is equal to 180 so if I'm buying 1000 coins then I have to pay 1080 so I will just uh, go to buy and it will open up the payment gateway where you know I can go ahead and feel and like I said uh, you can buy coins or like I, I mean it says rest of the world right but you can literally buy coins from anywhere in the world so I, I mean I'll select any country here that's I mean where I'm currently based and I'll go ahead and do the purchase you know so you can see you can buy coins from just anywhere in the world so purple coin purchases have been enabled you know in a way that you can buy coins from anywhere in the world so um, I mean I don't want to do a purchase right now so I'll go ahead and just uh, uh, not uh, put my card details and so on but once you do that and you click on pay it's gonna create your account and in, I mean it's gonna put the uh, appropriate number of coins in your account so because I already have proper coins uh, and I've shown, I mean, we've seen how you, uh, how to purchase proper coins. Now let's assume that we already did our purchase and we want to transfer some coins. It's this simple. You want to transfer value. I click on transfer and I'll enter, I'll choose a number. Let's say I want to send some coins to a friend and the number is 675-332458. Let's assume that's the number. And, uh, and I want and the email address I'll just use uh, let's say Aaron dot uh, let's say Aaron oh let's just use info at switcher 
let's say I want to send this is the email address of the friend info at switcher.com and I'll say then uh, the name is switcher and the address is Boya Cameroon okay so I'll do that and I'll click on send now it ask me how many coins do you want to send I'll say I want to send a hundred coins to uh, this friend and I click on submit and now I'll be asked to confirm like uh, because once I click once I do the transfer I cannot uh, uh, reverse the transaction so I'll be asked to confirm whether or not I want to send coins now take note my coin balance is 43,149 so I'm going to confirm and once I do that my coin balance should have been updated right yeah so you can see now I have uh, uh, 100 coins less than what I had before because I've done some coin transfers. Now, let's see how withdrawers work. Um, if you want to withdraw, there are two ways to withdraw. I mean, you, uh, th there are two ways to uh, transfer value because, of course, these purple coins, the whole monetary value, right? And they can be re uh, withdrawn into different payment methods. So if I want to transfer coins to someone, that's how you do it. And uh, let's assume that you have some coins in your wallet or you are the recipient of the transfer and you want to withdraw. At the moment, withdrawals are possible in several markets and we hope to keep adding. So I'll go to withdraw and uh, you, you have to select where you want to withdraw the coins into. So I want to withdraw the coins in Cameroon, for example. And uh, they will ask you enter the amount of coins that you want to withdraw. Let's say I want to withdraw 100 coins that I just received. And you can see, you know, uh, the value of the coins and then the gateway charge is 3.9. So I'll go ahead and do, because we don't charge a, a fee at the level of transfer, we only charge a fee at the level of withdrawal. So I'll put, let's say I want to withdraw the coins into a mobile money account. Then all I need to do is provide the money, uh, mobile money account details and uh, mobile money, uh, that, that's the name and the number and submit. And uh, the coins, I mean, the value of the coins will be settled into this mobile money account so uh, that's how it really works guys sending money uh, from anywhere in the world to Africa uh, starting with uh, mostly Cameroon and Nigeria and we hope to add more markets it's as easy as sending an SMS or sending a WhatsApp message all you need is uh, this person uh, the recipient's email address and mobile number and you can send them some coins and they can withdraw the value of these coins into their mobile money accounts on the other hand if they don't have uh, if I mean if you're sending uh, money to I mean you want to send money to someone who has mobile money account but doesn't have a switcher account and cannot have a switcher account you can uh, once you have the coins you can withdraw directly into uh, let's say I want to withdraw in, in, in Nigeria I'll enter the number of coins so depending on each different countries for different countries different payment methods are available so for Nigeria it's a bank account. I mean we are only settling into bank accounts so you can go ahead and click on bank account. You provide this person's bank account details and the amount of money will be deposited. The value of the coins will be deposited into this uh, beneficiary's account. So that's how it works, guys. Uh, thank you so much and please keep using Switcher.